So we've heard from millionaires that sales is one of, if not the most important skill that you can have as an individual if you want to make more money or if you want to get rich. When millionaires often get asked what they would do if they had to start from zero, they often say, I think sales jobs are probably the best job any person can get. If I had to get a job again, it'd be a sales job. I would get a sales job. I would learn sales, 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 sales. So for the past 366 days, 8,760 hours, I have been learning sales from reading the most generic sales books, such as how to win friends and influence people, having hundreds and hundreds of cold calls, hundreds of sales calls, going door to door to wash people's cars, selling sweets to everyone inside of my school. I have come down to these four pillars, which I'm gonna be walking you guys over today. So make sure to take notes because you're about to get so good at selling that you'll never stop making money. Pillar number one is to be the guy that doesn't give a F. One reason why many people don't get started with selling or selling some sort of service or product is because of fear of rejection. Look, I've been on hundreds of calls with people asking me, hey, I need some advice, hey, I need some help, hey, I'm not getting any sales right now. Look, I've been on hundreds of calls with people wanting to get sales help. And the question I always ask them is, have you gotten started? Are you making any sales? You know, do people even want to hear you out after the first five seconds of you pitching them? And nine out of 10 times, they give me excuses as to why they haven't started. Hey man, I don't think I'm good enough for this year. Hey man, my English isn't perfect. Hey man, I'm scared of, scared of getting rejected, man. Psh, blah, blah, blah. They're all just giving me a bunch of reasons as to why they haven't started. And look, that's completely fine. I felt this myself when I was going door to door to wash people's cars. You know, you just have to get into the mentality that sales is not a sprint, but indeed it is a marathon. Every single no that you get in sales is just simply getting you one step closer to your yes. Once you get that first yes, you realize it's possible. Once you realize it's possible, you'll be motivated to do more and more and more. And you're gonna enter the sort of flow state where not only you're learning, but you're doing it, you're making sales, you're making money. And this is the period where you're actually getting the most out of sales and learning the most. I mean, look, take it from me. I was selling drinks in school in summer term, and there was a point where I had literally gone up to everyone inside of my school. So even if I just wanted to go up to someone, you know, to talk to them a little bit, they would literally just say, Oh, Geronimo, we don't want your drinks, man. And that was just me at 13 years old, making money. I wasn't given an AF. And every day I kept getting better and better, making more and more sales. I was just winning. This brings me to my next point. Pillar number two is to make sure to do high reps. Just like me selling my drinks in school, you need to make sure whatever it is that you're trying to sell, you should be doing high reps of the sales. Look, I literally pitched every single person in my school. That's over a thousand people. I had forcefully put myself in a situation where I had to make at least one sale. And this was all until I ran out of people to pitch. But by the time I'd done that, people started coming to me instead of me going to them. But we'll talk about that later. To actually get your desired outcome or your desired knowledge, you must be doing the high reps. Small amounts just simply won't cut it. You know, who's gonna do better? The guy that's doing 100 calls after school or the guy that sent five DMs on a day and called it a day? Look, I had to learn this the hard way. I was getting back home, really excited to message some prospects about my marketing agency. I really wanted to book five meetings a day, but I was only making 20 calls. 10 out of those 20 wouldn't even pick up. Five out of those 10 would actually wanna hear me out. And most of the time, I didn't get anything from those 20 calls. Until a couple of weeks later, I realized that I simply wasn't doing enough and that the small amount was never gonna get me to reach my goal. You will sell your product more, the more people are hearing out your offer, the more you sell to people, the more sales that you will make. And that is simple common sense. You know, the more I was knocking on doors to wash people's cars, the more people that were talking with me, the more people that were taking my number, the more people that wanted to book in with me on a weekend for me to wash their car. So if you're not doing your sales at high reps, not only will you take longer to learn, but you're just missing out on the money. But all of this brings me onto the next pillar, which is optimize your product. When I was selling drinks in school, it was the summer term. So of course, people in my playground were hot, 
sweaty, you know, playing football, basketball. The girls were sitting down all sweaty in the benches. This automatically put my ice cold drinks in high demand. I was also selling them for under market value, you know. These people would have to get it for around £1.20 in shops. But I was able to source a good enough supplier to sell it to me way, way, way below market value. And I sold it at one pound. You know, these people, if they wanted to get the ice cold drinks I was selling them, they would have to pay around one pound twenty for it in any ordinary shop. But because I had a good supplier, I was able to sell them under retail value. So I was selling them at around one pound in contrast to the one pound twenty that they would have to buy it for. So not only was I selling ice cold sweet drinks in a hot summer day, but I was selling them below the market value. So the people in my school didn't take long at all to realize how good what I was selling actually was. My product was in high demand to my market and it was almost irresistible. Therefore, the chances of me actually making the sale were much higher. So if you're a great salesman, but your product is really, really bad. Yeah, you might be able to get a couple of sales, you know, due to your skills. But all of that, just for what? There is zero longevity in that. If your product's always bad, it's gonna build a bad reputation. Word's gonna get around and no one will want to buy from you. So obviously that's not good. You will stop being confident in what you're selling and your sales energy will tank. But hey, we can't please everyone. So, you know, if your product isn't the greatest to begin with, the more you sell it to people, the more feedback you're gonna get, the more you can improve upon it. If a few people say that your product isn't good, it doesn't mean that you have to change it. All you need to do is take the feedback and keep working on your product, always trying to optimize it. For example, when I was washing cars, I was knocking on every neighbor's door. I had run out of neighbors, but one of them said that I had scratched the car. I'd never had this before, even though washing almost all of my neighborhood's cars. So the people whose car I scratched, they insisted that I'd get better equipment. That didn't mean that my product was bad overall, I had maybe just made a mistake when I was cleaning their car, but this allowed me to improve my product. Another example is when I was cold calling. The prospect said that he was getting those same calls multiple times a week and that I sounded just like all the other salesmen. That just simply meant that I wasn't different from the competitors and that I was just like everyone else just trying to sell my service, which isn't where you want to be. So obviously I changed a couple of things about my service, added in some free trials and slowly but surely, separated myself from the competition okay back to the point your product should have one of the two number one solve a problem number two a wow factor luckily for me my drinks had two of the two but another great example of this is amazon prime they offer you a 14 day free trial which is an irresistible offer and they have a wow factor of same day delivery or next day delivery this also solves a problem for the people that want something immediately they have three of the above, which is perfect. Free trials are great if you have a service to offer. Just take example from the big guys like Amazon Prime, Spotify, all of these companies offering free trials. Cool, you must now ask yourself these questions and use them to build your product slash service. Number one, does your product solve a problem or have a wow factor? Number two, what separates you from the competitors? Number three, do you have anything irresistible? This could be a free trial, full refund if they don't like it, discounts, etc. These things will allow you to sell a lot more. And if you couple it with pillar number two, which is to do higher reps, you will make money, get sales and become a sales machine. Which brings me to my next point, pillar number four, just do it. The only way that you'll get real feedback on your product slash service or whatever it is that you're selling is simply if you get on with it. You know, we've all heard the Nike motto, just do it. And that, believe it or not, is single-handedly the best sales advice ever, just from a company motto. The best way to get better at sales is to just do it. And a lot of you guys need to understand that. Reading a hundred sales books will not get you anywhere far. The guy who knocks on a hundred doors, the guy that makes a hundred cold calls, will always learn more than the guy who's read a hundred sales books but has never taken action. And by the way, if you found this video valuable so far, you have not been inside of my community yet. We have 500x more value and it is extremely serious. I mean, we ban up to a hundred people per day. So join at your own risk. Link is in the description. 
moving on. Don't get me wrong, sales books are great and I do have some recommendations inside of Elevate Club. But how much better will you capture the knowledge if you make those calls, if you knock on doors, if you take meetings? You will be a sales machine if you operate like that because then you'll actually know, you know what you're sort of getting yourself into. And then if you go ahead and read a book on sales after knocking on those doors, after making those cold calls, you will literally be Jordan Belfort just pick up the phone and start dialing back to the fourth pillar just do it you will become a sales machine and you won't be able to stop selling so you should have got become the guy that doesn't give an f do the high reps optimize your product as you go along with all of that and just do it oh and also subscribe to the channel